My first opportunity to vote was 1972. I remember I was 18 the first time I could vote. I was at Plymouth State College at the time. The first time I voted was absentee ballot while I was in the Peace Corps in Tanzania, East Africa. The first time I voted was in 1960. I waited in the rain in a very long line on the campus of Michigan State. I remembered my dad's words that it is your responsibility to educate yourself and make an informed decision about which kind of person you trust to maintain our democracy. And I was so proud and so happy. I was with my mom and I cried and she cried when I put my ballot in that box. And Dewey was running against Roosevelt and uh, Roosevelt won again. I was just 21 and I voted for John Fitzgerald Kennedy, one of my heroes. We become part of decisions that are important to our community. So I think it's really important that people do vote, even if they think they're just one vote. One vote can make the difference in some elections. We have the right and the honor to choose our government officials. Because that determines who's going to run the country and what our lives are going to be like. It's a privilege. And I live in a country where I have that privilege. Many people don't regard this as a gift, I do. As a citizen of America, we all have that obligation to vote. Voting represents the gift we have in democracy. And I think it's our responsibility to shoulder that gift, to accept it and to use it. When I think about voting, I think about my children. I think about my grandchildren and my two great-grandchildren and what it means to them. Please remember that if you do not vote, you are giving up your right to complain about the direction of our country. I am tired of people who complain about the government, but they do not want to get out and vote. If you voted and things turn out a little differently than you uh, expect, you have the right to object and to complain and to explain things, but I feel if you don't vote, then you give up the right to complain or to even congratulate somebody who's doing a good job.